Hi, I'm Tracy Ho and I'm the Sustainability Officer working in Central Operation Services. Sustainability means embedding sustainability principles and um, strategic asset management solutions into our campus built environment. We work with stakeholders across the university to provide facilities and services to support the university's activities in research and education. My role is to look at the opportunities to how we can minimise and reduce our environmental footprint in the energy, waste and water space. I've been working um, at the university for seven years and I've been um, fortunate enough to work on a number of interesting and exciting sustainability projects. The Solar PV project, um, which we also won the VC award for um, outstanding contribution to the community for, initially started as a project where we retrofitted solar PV systems on 14 buildings on the main campus and we've extended our commitment to clean energy by integrating solar PV systems on all of our new buildings. Hi, my name is Liv Arkell and from 2018 until a few months ago I was the president of the Sydney University Waste Fighters. We're a student-run uh, society on campus and we had about 330 members as of last year. So as president of the Waste Fighters it was my role to manage the team and to run and organise a bunch of the events we put on. And the focus of the group is on making sustainable action really positive and really practical for students. Over last year, 2019, we had about 18 events and 12 of those were collaborations. We had a talk on corporate social responsibility last year. Uh, we have market stalls where we sell things like reusable beeswax wraps. We have clothes swaps, we have other talks. We did collaborations with Cornersmith on using food scraps and with Oz, Oz Harvest and a couple of uh, food waste picnics. So we have a bunch of different events and they're all just about kind of showing people how sustainability can fit into their world. I really liked participating in the advisory groups because they were made up of a lot of different voices and a lot of different stakeholders. So as a student, um, sometimes I was worried I wouldn't have much to contribute or much of value to say compared to other people, but I always felt really welcome and like um, the contributions I had to make were really useful. I agree with what um, Olivia said and um, additionally for me I felt like it was really great to build these connections with um, really passionate uh, people uh, across the university and uh, for example we've been able to meet um, post the actual um, strategy development to look at what other things that we can collaborate on uh, as the university and um, the Waste Fighter Society. I think the table talk discussions were a really important part of the sustainability strategy because they gave people on campus a chance to have their voice heard and integrated into the strategy. So there was a lot of conversation about the bins, about the way buildings are structured, um, things that might not have come out in those high level conceptual discussions amongst the um, planning team and executive, but that when I spoke to people and I said, how would this actually work? or how do you feel this issue is as a student, you got some really interesting insights that we could make sure um, the strategy would have the kind of practical impact we were going for instead of just a theoretical one. The Waste and Resource Recovery Group thought that the top action items uh, were the bin signage and the education piece, the organics recycling and becoming a single-use plastic-free campus. I got lots of um, candid feedback about some of the things that people that we do but is not necessarily seen and so those are good feedback that I can actually take back and try and make some of those changes. The great thing about the Waste and Resources Recovery Group is that we had a real depth of knowledge in the space. So we had Ben Pinney, who's Head of Food and Beverage for the USU, we had Tracy, who's the Sustainability Officer for the University, and people like that had so much knowledge about what was happening with our waste and resources and what was actually doable and impossible uh, on campus. So there was a lot of insight, for example, about what happens with our waste. Some people in the group, including myself, didn't know what happens to it. Um, if it gets commingled, how it gets collected, um, then had some great insight into what's actually doable and not doable in terms of food and beverage and single-use plastics on campus and coffee cups. So there was a lot of passion, um, but also a really practical aspect to the group of what change we could tangibly make happen and then the motivation to get that done.